Just mess around my little mobile game here before we start. About 70 seconds away. I am coming into this one with some momentum for the for the first time pretty much ever, at least at America's Card Room. This is the last tournament I played, I actually made the money. Now, if I could actually make that a regular occurrence, that would be wonderful. I will say that I definitely feel that now that I've had a little bit more reps on the ACR, you know, ecosystem, that my play has actually improved and slowly adapted more so than I would playing on, you know, the fake money replay poker or simply reading one chapter of poker wizards now granted all those things helped but looking back i was never going to just drop right in and do well without actually taking in a few reps up here it's like this is this is big time poker here with a lot of play all right, so we have a two dollar fifty cent buy in here with a four thousand guaranteed prize pool. We have another 20, 20 levels of late reg, and it's just like the last one that I played. Fifteen minute blinds up until late reg, and then it becomes ten minutes. Now this one starts at uh, one o five p.m. instead of ten forty five a.m. So if I actually make the money, <laughs> it's going to be pitch black outside. Don't really need to play twos, honestly. SVG there with a pretty significant raise. Did they give me Shan They gave me Shantaram again. Come on. I don't want to be at Shantaram's table. He's too good. All right, well, let's see what we got here. Okuri, United States. Shantarmi knows Russian. Ken Lord 1, Russia. Best Jump 3, Russia. The Animator, United States. Iz Izrezba, Russia. SVG, Russia. It's 1.06 p.m. Why aren't you guys in bed? Now, granted, when you sign up for this... They ask. They don't ask you where you are. You know, physically present. They ask you where your permanent address is. Maybe, maybe these guys just live in Russia, but they're currently playing elsewhere. I don't know. I don't know. And again, I know that Russia is an enormous place. So there's a lot of time zones to go through. But I think most of them are probably ought to be you know sleeping right now. I squeeze and it's Shantram. I don't want to play him post flop for an inflated pot when I only have nine high. Maybe I should have just folded it in the first place. Or maybe I would have actually flopped the world. Because I know for a fact that nobody else could have flopped a pair and a flush draw. Well, I guess I'm still lucky. I'm still as lucky as I was in the last one.
Is there a better run out for nine nether diamonds in all of existence than that? Oh boy, did I ever dodge a bullet. I might I might be broke if I played that hand. No wonder Chris Ferguson advocates against playing student connectors in early position. Because I probably would have check raised the flop with having both the pair and the flush draw, and then having the flush, I'm certainly not going to slow down. Shunt Rem easily could have had my whole stack there. Jeez. Apparently, I need to hit a set here. Now that I have made the money, um... Bees! This suddenly, this suddenly turned into Omaha. I did not make a small raise, either. Well, one of those ten cards has to be an ace. I got back doors, but they're back doors. If your head's up, you should never fold to just one over card. But if you're six ways and you got pocket tens on this board, you can get rid of it. There's probably an eight seven hiding out there as well. There is absolutely no upside to betting 10s here. You just know the turn card is going to be the Jack of Diamonds, though. It's going to keep me in just a little bit. Not hearts. That's actually better. I'd rather not have the diamonds. Now there is a little bit of upside to betting here. Never mind. All right, do we think this is worth it? I'm pretty comfortable if a six or a jack hits. And a ten might work. I'll gamble. It's early. Though, me taking that long probably might not be the best. But, like, the thing is, if I hit it, I did hit it. It's the Jack of Diamonds. I'm not going to raise. Oh. Except nobody bet. I want to get something out of this. I do have the Ten of Diamonds at least. Blocking a potential flush. There we go. Yeah, he did have an ace, sure enough. Yeah, I had a pair and up and down draw. 
Was that the right play to do? Probably not, but it's early enough that I felt like I could gamble and not look like a complete idiot. Yeah, we'll fold this one. I could, but nah. Jeez, these flops are looking really good for my hands. Of course, the first time I would have been against Shantaram and I would have gone broke. This, the time that I did play, of course, I actually had you know pocket tens. Why wouldn't I play that? And my gamble ends up paying off. Yeah, I think SVG played it fairly smart. Of course, if he had bet the flop, I'm out of there. I'm not calling with two tens. But I ended up with a runner runner straight. Like said in the suited, Shantaram's big blind. I, I want better than this, and we're going to be playing against Shantaram's big blind. I, I really, really respect him. If I look a little sleepy, I did just come up with uh, a nice hearty lunch at Wally Waffles. You might notice that I still haven't uh, shaven my facial hair yet. I decided, I decided that the haircut left enough like character to my hair that I can let my facial hair grow out a little while longer. It won't be for too long though. I think I mentioned during my uh, commentary that I still haven't posted yet, but you would have seen it by now. Um, again, like. As of me playing this, I have not yet uploaded that video, but I will upload that before this one, so you'll have an opportunity to see that final table before you see this. Um, I hope I worded that correctly. I hope you understand that. Um, I mentioned that I played uh, Getting Over It with Bennett Foddy yesterday, and somehow I end up liking it. I didn't beat it yet. In fact, I haven't even come close to beating it yet. But I did like it. <laughs> And I, I thought I might, because I'm just that much of a masochist. Although I will be uh, mouse pad shopping tomorrow, probably. Actually, definitely tomorrow. There's a Staples not too far from where I live, so I can go there for a mouse pad. And I'm aware that you don't have to, pick, to break the bank for it. A good friend of mine has a $10 mouse pad that's gotten him through pretty much anything. I could raise. I'm just going to choose not to.
There were long stretches of folding that I did in my last tournament that that uh, ended up working out nicely. This five isn't much better, but I am going to go ahead and raise this time to more or less try and balance my range. Oh. I'm going to milk this one. This is an easy fold. And that meal really did did a number on me. <laughs> I'm feeling really sleepy. It's a really good day for a kettlebell walk. If I, I mean, if I do bust early, then I can go for a kettlebell walk. And busting early could mean, you know, even four hours in, I, I'm I'm sure it'd still be perfectly fine weather. The one good thing is I can look at that ridiculous late reg number and not feel intimidated by it because I know I can beat that. I'm hoping that there's just a couple less lunatics at the $2.50 level than there are at the $1.10 level. I think we're pretty much past them by, by the time you get to $6.60. We're also be playing an $11 game for free in a few days. I don't know when the world I did to to get, <laughs> to get America's card room to give me that uh, free ticket, but I will gladly accept that and see what I can make with it. I really just want to close my eyes right now. What the heck? I'm also starting to uh, listen to a little bit more ASMR at night because, um, because I, I've been told that you know, over reliance on Nyquil is just not a good thing for you. I'm trying to wean myself off of that, but uh, it is still nice to you know have around. Which I mean, I I did use it last night because you know sometimes I'll just wake up and randomly cough, and I'm like, well, <laughs> let's. <laughs> Let's let's not let let's not let the entire night go by like this. Let's just ring our Nyquil and take the L and <laughs> at least get some sleep. Pure Michigan Poker, United States, obviously. Welcome. I thought it was still worth checking, though. You never know. There's all these like Spanish names like Enojado from Russia. And even then there's so many countries that speak Spanish. Russia's not being one of them, but you know, it could be Spain, it could be Argentina, it could be Mexico, it could be Costa Rica, it could be Cuba. If Cuba even allows yeah. online poker, I don't know. If, I don't know if they do. Dominican Republic, Guatemala, Panama, Colombia, Venezuela, Philippines.
It's like Angola for a second, but that's not Spanish. That's Portuguese. The only Spanish colony in Africa was uh, Equatorial Guinea, and that's very small. It's also not on the equator. It should be called One Degree North Latitude Guinea. Big rage, Shantaram. I think I'll be raising 810 this level. I just kind of pick a number to raise to with each passing level. And I'll like generally decrease it by the number of big blinds as we go along. I'll start out near 3x. And then as the blinds get bigger and bigger, I'll get more toward 2.6x, 2.5, 2.4x. I will never min-raise, unless I misclick, of course. If I min-raise, I misclicked. That's all there is to it. I always want my raise to have just a little bit extra oomph without being, you know, preposterous. Yeah, in, in cash games, I, norm I normally go around 3x. But like once I pick a number for a certain level, I'll generally stick with it and not veer away from it. I don't want there to be any obvious tells. Not bad. Not bad. Now, of course, if I'm if I'm on the button, I'll size up a little bit. If I'm on the small blind, I'll size up even more. But other than that, I'll raise the same. Then, of course, I have to adapt my three bets to the size of the raise, the position that the raise came from. Now, you can't have a standard three bet size. I'm certainly not defending my big blind with this crap. The Big Bing Tior is number 15 on the list. You might see him in a second. Because I know OBS only... The, the way I have OBS configured, you can only see the top 14. Well, that car completed every draw in the world. I guess except for 8-7. <laughs> That's only a pair of 8s. Minimum bet. <laughs> he had the nuts straight. And Shantaram had a pair of aces. They could have gotten more than 300. I'll just limp. I see no good of trying to represent on this one. Okuri can have this one. Although if he doesn't want it, I'll take it.
I figure if he had spades, I might have heard from him. Well, he doesn't believe me. He's correct so far. I got chips to burn. I believe I should have done that one. Okay. Yep, that was stupid. That really didn't change much. If he could call my turn bet, he probably could call my river bet. And it turns out he can raise it, too. That was good. Maybe he's trying to tell me that I could have won it on the flop, but I went too late. I wonder if I should add some background music when I record these. Except I am going to change it up a little bit. For the rest of this uh, High Five series, there's this one, then two more. I will record the whole tournament. But I think from this point onward, uh, past that, when I record myself playing a game, I'm only going to record myself two hours in. The one exception being um, the dime day one flights, because those only last about three hours anyway. Again, I'm only going to record day one flights of the dime until I actually get through to day two. When I get through to day two, then I'll only record the dime if I make it to day, to day two. And the same goes for Sunday Squeeze, where I'll record day one until I pass it, and then only record day two. And then Route 66, which has a name now. Yay. Very long time. It was just the hundred, the hundred fifty thousand dollar weekly tournament. Eight ten. Well, me against the same guy again. All right, pot control. I actually have something now. Well, the makings of something. Cheap enough. Nope, I missed. Ah, you can have it. Oh yeah, I was not gonna give him the fold. It's pretty remarkable how having having a leg up on the field from just that one first pot can really make a difference because you know I've lost a couple of hands since then and I'm I'm still safely over the starting stack. And the chip average is not gonna be very far over the starting stack for the until like level five ish. Right, 
Right now we're still on late level two. Okay, you can go the first four levels, which translates to the first hour of the game here, and really only win one or two hands, and you'll still be doing okay. However, if you have only won one or two hands, then by level five, it's, it's time to start stepping it up a bit. Now, that's a reasonable raise size for the fact that it's already been limped. I wish I could just press buttons over there to move on to the next tan. <laughs> like we can with... Ooh, SVG's got something. E to the fourth. Oh, apparently he didn't have that much because he folded awfully quickly. And Izrezba takes 15,500 ships without seeing a flop. Talk about folding like the wind. Right, control. You know what? Even though this, even though my hands pretty much face up, I'm gonna do this anyway because I've I've checked in a lot of spots like that only to get met with a check back. Oh, yeah, he would have just checked back for sure. So, good bet. <laughs> I'm hoping that maybe coming fresh off of a win against him, maybe I can actually have a king. I'm nice. I'm also trying to send a message, of course. That message being that, you know, sometimes when I play hard, I have it.
well aware that not all of the caches in the poker tournaments that I that I'll play here are going to be as nice and easy as the one I had last time because I was able to just cruise into the money the whole way through. I'm not going to have an easier time than I did last time. And even then, I only finished 63rd. I pretty much did the minimum. But, you know, at least I didn't do worse than the minimum. <laughs> Once I got the chips, I didn't screw around with them too much. That five completed a lot more draws than it might look. Wait, eight nine was already there. It only completed three four. Never mind. That's gonna raise to ten eighty. Well, I'm not playing. I don't want to play a seven, but I would have raised to ten eighty and hoped to fold everybody out. Obviously, I wouldn't have if Okuri is playing any. Ooh, wow. Oh, I didn't have the ace of clubs. With a pair. Of course, imagine like hitting the two of clubs on the river, only to be only to find out that SVG already had ten nine of clubs and had a straight flush. Not two of clubs, but yeah, sure enough, it would have had the ace high flush. Two of clubs. Oh, he had it. This is just good enough for me to play. <laughs> uh, Okuri likes to play with me. I think he just likes to play, period. He's he's very floptimistic, kind of like Daniel Negreanu. Interesting flop. I hope I don't have to pay too much to see the next card. That's that's okay. That's not okay. Eh. You just insta full pot. What the heck? I don't know if I believe them, but. If I'm wrong, that's an awful lot to pay with just a pair of nines. Uh oh. Oh no. <laughs> Throwing away some chips.
Like maybe I played just a bit too many hands in some of my earlier tournaments because I was just thinking about how much I love Omaha. Omaha, you should play a lot of hands. But hold them, especially in nice long 15 minute blind structures, you don't have to play that many. Uh, Shantaram. Oh, did he did he forget that sit out does not mean oh wow does not mean auto muck. Well, he's back. I don't know if has that really been that hard of a decision. It's pre flop. It Maybe multi tabling. That's another thing I need to consider. If he's multi-tabling, then maybe he had a hard decision at that table and just couldn't be bothered with this one. I can pull this. hand. Limp. UTG limp. I will not be the one to try and go after you. Okay, SVG, you take care of it. I'm not calling 5X with 6 9 of clubs. I need to realize something. That limp there is not necessarily a trap when it comes from Okuri because he's just a small ball kind of guy. And you know what? I don't even care if it folds to me. You can just have you can just have this walk. Never mind. Chantram can have it. There's already 10,300 in there. 10,320 even. Chantaram is tough. Oh, the table's breaking. I have the Lawn McCarran Memorial Hand. Oh, I should have sized up a little bit. I'm buttoned against tough blinds here. I can't fold a one over card. In fact, I should probably bet this just to see if I can fold out one guy. Okay, make sure accomplished. Where'd that bet come from? 
I got my jacks. That's a horrible card. Yeah. Four five got there. Ace two got there. I don't know what you have, but I don't think my jacks are good anymore. Random diamonds got there. I mean, he might have random diamonds based on the way he bet the turn out of friggin' nowhere. Ace K fifty five. He's not from Japan. He's from Portugal. Welcome. I make a lot of references to VTubers and like Japanese content, Dragon Ball, but I'm honestly not that much of an anime connoisseur. So I don't know any anime characters named Heisuke, but I assume that's what he's named, naming himself after. Gold. Well, I'm right on the average. I'm still beating all the late reg guys. I've said it before, and I'll probably say it every time I play poker here at ACR. Seven levels of late reg. That's all any tournament should ever need to offer. Seven levels of late reg. After that, it just gets completely ridiculous. XRDO from Brazil. Welcome. Anything more than seven levels of late reg and you're just extending the tournament far beyond where it should go. Okay, my computer feels awfully hot. That's concerning. As soon as this tournament's over, I might put it to sleep. I'll call him in raise with my threes, see if I can flop with trips. Nope. Wait, I just realized in that last in the hand with my jacks against the uh, Okuri, he probably had pocket eights and turned a set. That's the most logical answer for that. Sixes, that's I guess an upgrade. Not a huge upgrade over threes, but See if I can make something out of it. I'm sure nobody has labeled me as a loose player here. There's my there's my trips. There's not a lot there to be scared of. Okay, that's a really good card for me. If you happen to have an ace, I can get a lot of money off of him now. Yeah. 
Or maybe he'll be really smart. Yeah, I had it. Good fold. Maybe I could have maybe I could have just called. I don't know. I got an extra sixteen hundred out of him. That's that's something. Okay, well not not bad. Not bad, I'd say. Not really much to say though. I didn't play a whole lot of hands. Mobile games. That I just kind of started while waiting and might not finish in time, but. I've got more in common with the Zoomers than I like to admit. And yes, I apologize, but I am beginning to. But I have, I've gotten to the age where I am unironically using the term Zoomers to not apply to myself. I do apologize, but uh, you're going to have to get used to me saying this more and more as I get older and with increasing degrees of contempt. Four, eight, easy fold. Four eight, of course. I assume it's quiet enough that you can't tell what I'm actually playing. And no, I won't tell you because it's not really important to what I'm doing now. Actually, I might as well say it because oh, aces. Because you, you, you might think of uh, some naughty thoughts if I don't say it. Uh, it's Clicker Heroes. I'm aware there's a Clicker Heroes too, but I decided to play the first one first. Even though there's like not really any supposed end. Or if there is an end to the game, it's damn far away from where I am. Because I'm aware that there's achievements for things that are just so far out there. Okay, let's kind of blow these guys out of the hand. 2900. Actually, it's not that much of a blow, but maybe we'll blow one of them out. I don't want to play this hand f against three people, that's for sure. Oh, I haven't had poop thrown at me in a long time. Uh, I I don't I would only deserve to have poop thrown at me if I was doing this with like king five off suit. That's a, not a great flop for aces. Yeah, I'll show you Maybe later at this table, I'll make a play with a much weaker hand. Verlyoka, Russia. Welcome.
Mostly I showed that so that pure Michigan poker knows not to throw poop at me next time. Because I actually had it. Now what would be kind of funny is if there was somebody named like Angry Ape, Angry Monkey, Angry Gorilla or whatever... They just threw poop at everybody ad nauseum because that's what angry gorillas do. <laughs> Michigan hadn't even seen the flop yet. So it's not like I just made him full King 7 or whatever and he was upset about that. They both fold, I'll play. Wow, I mean, I missed that flop so hard that I... <laughs> I'm not even going to try and continue. Why does a turn always give me outs? Okay, second time I've gone runner runner. What the hell? Queen 10 actually beats me, but there's no way I'm folding this. Oh, we're chopping. We both backed into it. It's such a ridiculous overshot, though. Would have flopped the straight.
family is home. See if I need anything. They didn't. It is nice that the blinds go up so seldom. I can afford to miss a hand or two. Ace does not play a lot of hands, but when he does, he <laughs> hits them pretty, pretty, pretty hard. That's the same race as I, I did. I might regret this. Or not. I really might regret this. Representing a seven here. Well, I donked off a bunch of chips there. That was a bad play. I almost had a seven. <laughs> I could have had a seven. Yeah, you can walk this one. Really shouldn't be donking my chips off to Shantaram. Oh, wait. Look who's big blind it is. Oh, small blind as well. Alright, if they let me have a free one, I'll take the free one. Very similar run out. I have to keep Shantaram honest, though, don't I? Well, I got lucky again. Being high flush. Oh, he had nothing. That was a paired board. I didn't think he had a full house, but maybe he might have backed into the ace high flush. But all he had was the ace high part. I'm playing a little bit weird right now. I'm relying on getting lucky, and I and I am. <laughs> Again, it's the series designated games that seem to give me the best cards.
Now, Shantaram's a very good player, and that's a very consistent... Like, it's very consistent with the way he plays. He just happened to guess wrong on that one. I was never folding the kick I flush. Let's let's start <laughs> reining it in a little bit. We can start folding more hands now. I won a big pot against a great player. I can kind of crawl back in my hole now. An important piece of information is that I lead my table by about 17,000 now. I mean, I, I talk about how satisfying it is to be cons to like gain consistency in a video game, especially one like VVV, VVV, perfect run attempts. Like, the consistency of going deep is very satisfying, but. Nothing really beats the really beats consistently going deep in poker tournaments because you can actually get money that way. Now this is not consistency, and you might even argue whether sixty three sixty third out of one thousand three hundred thirty eight is all that deep in the in, to begin with. But like I'm just saying, if I can if I can make this consistent, then we might be onto something here. But I am just an amateur. I'm still very much an amateur. I have no plans on making this my my be all and end all for how I'm going to make a living. I'm just kind of good at it, that's all. As a hobby, you know, it could work. Loosh. Jeez, oh, cool. You played that pair of nines awfully hard. More small ball guy to begin with, and all of a sudden he picks up a pair of nines and thinks of the nuts. Very small raise over the limp. Of course, it's Okuri. Which looks like it could be a Japanese name. He's the American, of course. Heisuke is Portuguese. Very loca is Russian, I believe. Yeah, he is. Well, who he likes quarter pot bets, doesn't he? I feel like it's not too tough to play him post flop. At least on the flop, if he'll. He'll throw you a quarter pot bet almost every time. So as long as you have something that's at least worth a quarter pot, you can keep going. Like, you can chase draws against a player like that because you know he won't bet too much on the flop. Oh, there's a half pot bet. Never mind, I'm full of crap. Just noticing patterns, but maybe he's already mixing them up. Oh, he's mixing them up all right.
Um... Centurion's raise sizes also make it kind of hard to 3-bet unless you got a really big hand. Because if you are going to 3-bet, you're going to have to come in an awful lot. You really don't want to guess wrong against him. But we've seen he's willing to be pretty wild on the river with, with nothing. So if you happen to be packing a flush, <laughs> good for you. This is an interesting setup. Don't know what's about to happen, so let's just call. If there's any further action I can get out of here. Oh dear. I'm kind of done. <laughs> Every time. Every time. I mean, the straight is a, a completely moot point now. So it's just the diamonds. But you know what? I'm not going to... I'm still going to fold it. I'm just assuming the robots are not going to give it to me this time. It's illogical, but I've already hit a, a bunch of runner-runners. I just don't think I'm going to hit this one. I would hit the ace. Yeah. That was illogical, but also... You got to have a decent psychology around the robots. <laughs> Certainly wouldn't have won a call sixty six thousand with a pair of aces. And last time he did that on the river, he had he had the the, the straight same straight that I did.
Blood Raven. That's a cool name. Of course, I would have to point out that we have two aliens here. One from Brazil, one from Russia. Moscow has some very impressive skyscrapers. Meanwhile, pretty much every big city in Brazil spams skyscrapers. But not, not terribly big ones, just a lot of decent-sized ones. Which I kind of like. I kind of prefer. Well, the one exception being, uh, I don't know how to, I don't know if I'm pronouncing this correctly, but Balnearo Camboriú, which is a beachside, smaller city that they decided, you know what, let's just spam really big skyscrapers on this one, just because it's the beach and we have money. <laughs> I know that Portuguese and Spanish are similar, but I know that there are words in Portuguese derived from different roots and are pronounced a little bit differently. Plus, I don't know. I don't know how. What's the word? The diaresis above certain, above or below certain letters. I don't know how that affects pronunciation. Kind of cruising, cruising along here. See how new this is? Every time I would record myself before, I would just be under chip average for the whole tournament to see how long I can scrounge around in the sewers until I finally, you know, either got a little bit of chips or got knocked out and got taken out of my misery. Here I've been able to hover above chip average for almost the whole way. For the last three games that I've played. It's there's just something about these series designated events that causes the robots to be nice to me. I don't know why. Like, at least I, I get some better cards. I get better rivers, that's for that's for damn sure. Regular tournaments, I can't hit a river to save my life. Here it's almost 50-50, which is better than it should be. Planning ahead... I wonder if I can be a bully from the big blind. Because last time I did that, I had two aces and I showed everybody. And I I think this is the same people. So depending on preflop action, I might decide to mess around. And I've been folding a lot of hands. So this would seem to be a pretty good setup for a squeeze. But it needs to be reasonable. We need to see how the hand plays out first. If any of that was happening, obviously we can't squeeze. We got a frip. The Jacks were the best hand, but they were behind. But they managed to win somehow. Best jump three with a big double up. Okay, well, we have absolutely nothing. So we don't want to see a flop. Let's see. We have a limp there. A raise there. This might not be worth it. Actually, it might be still. 
Okuri will limp commonly, and Shantram might have just been trying to punish that. So maybe I can get away with this. Nope. Shantaram got me again. Shantaram did not have to have a hand there, really. That actually was a pretty good setup for, for, for a bluff raise there, because, like I said, Okuri... Has been known to limp in. Shantaram will punish that with nothing sometimes. Even though that was early position, that just seems like something that Shantaram could easily do without much of a hand. And I hadn't done that without a hand all tournament. Make sure to pick a re-ray size that did not commit myself if Chantram had gone over the top, so I could just fold. But also not look, you know, suspicious, or I didn't want to invite him to call, and I didn't want to look suspiciously large. I think I picked the right size, but I just picked the wrong time for Chantram to have a... He must add something. He must have. I mean, he didn't even think about it. He just went straight for the all-in. Couple fives. It's okay. What? Just snap all in on that? I don't know what the hell you could possibly have, but my five might be the best hand, but I'm not paying 30000 for it. Even if he doesn't have anything, he could easily have... Like, even if he had something like Queen-10 offsuit completely airballed that, he still has plenty of outs on me. That's a nice flop for me. Still feels hot. I gotta, I gotta remember to, to put the computer to sleep as soon as, as soon as I bust. Probably won't, that's the problem.
We have a min raise and a min three bet. Okuri really plays interesting poker. Shantram's wondering, like, wait, is this really a three bet? Because this is what I usually, this is what I usually two bet to. And there's a four bet, which is more than a min raise for once. I'm sure I might be thinking pump it or dump it. He's gonna dump it. What? Okay, <laughs> that just happened. Levenoma, oh, Yevenoma, Argentina, welcome. Wait, Yeven sent sending next to Quelve? I'm gonna be honest, we might be uh, onto something here. If I remember correctly, Yeve means rain, right? Or, wait, no. Nieve is snow. Yorar is to cry. Yeve, I think, is rain. I don't know. I might be mixing the terms of rain and snow together, though. Which means that Yeve could be sleet. What is sleet in Spanish? If somebody just named Goal! <laughs> the Lon McCare Memorial Hand. The only problem with Shantaran being short stacked here is that we know he's going to rebuy. <laughs> we know that we haven't seen the last of him. I can't even call you with this. With 5-2, I can't even call your min raise. So he adjusts his raise sizes according to his stack. I, mean, I would call with almost with almost any two cards a min raise in the big blind, but 5-2 is just so bad. This isn't much better. Not falling for any traps here. Yes, I see that I have a gut shot to the 10. But I don't care. It's a gut shot with one card to come on a pair of board. Actually, I'm going to fold this one. Tenth round being the big blind again. I'm back to actually caring about what hand I have. And caring about which player is in the big blind. Well, now it's the easiest fold in the, in the solar system. I'm not playing 10 8 on suit for 7350. 
Is it me or are the blinds going up faster than 15 minutes? It feels like it anyway, but maybe it's just because I'm not playing that many hands. I'm just kind of sleepwalking my way through because of that nice food that I had. We have 239 minutes to late rage. I'm not even really concerned about that anymore because now that I've actually done it, now that I've done it once, it becomes more of just like, okay, well, let's just... <laughs> that's just not something to check off once we get there. It's not really something to look forward to. Bad end. I've been very quiet, though. I wonder if I can attempt raising. But then again, I've I've been caught bluffing preflop already, and we still haven't moved tables. I think I think that if I've been caught making a big bluff preflop, I I really shouldn't be trying small bluff preflop because they know I'm I'm capable. <laughs> I'm noticing that my $4.40 games no longer show that I have a ticket to them. Oh, I'm going to check something real quick. Make sure it's not capturing first. I can't remember if it's in um, the rewards tab or my account. Oh, here it is. Ticket manager. I, I guess it did expire. I wasn't looking carefully enough at that. I thought, it I thought that my $4.40 ticket would actually... I guess I read the expiration date incorrectly. Because it was a ticket for, like, to try and satellite into the next Moneymaker. I thought it expired as soon as the next Moneymaker series ended. But, no, apparently it expired sooner than that. The $11 thing expires next year. So I know I can use that safely to close out the High Five series. Kind of sucks though. I misread the expiration date. So there goes four dollars and forty cents that was never used. But I will use the eleven dollars. That's more important, I think. Will I use it well? Probably not. It would be a pretty high quality field, I would imagine, and a lot of them too. I mean, it's an eleven dollar tournament with a $20,000 guaranteed prize pool, which means that they're expecting 2,000 players. I'll be happy just to cash in that one. Well, really, I'll be happy just to cash in any tournament that I play. At least for now. Un until I have experience going further. I had that second place run into free world, but it was a free roll. Slow roll with aces. 
Go Shantaram! Go Shantaram! Yes! He deserved it. He absolutely deserved it. Got shot in two overs. Okay, the implied odd just went up. I think I gotta keep going here, try and gamble. Okay, I don't have to gamble anymore. Nope. Jack High. Those of you who don't know what I just what I just did, um, when I say imply odds, implied odds going up, when Heisuke called there, it meant that if I were to happen to hit my my hand there, then I would have won a really really big pot because he was still in the hand. I was always gonna have a small chance to win it, but. Uh... If I haven't hit that small, like, my cost to see the next car didn't change because he just called. But because he called, you know, if I hit, then the pot that I'm going to win is at least 2,000 more, if not much greater. So it became more worth it to try and, to try and suck out. Maybe I should have just called with the King Queen? I don't know. Come on, Yebe Noma. It's pre-flop. It's not that hard. Good flop. If he's on a draw... I am, I'm definitely overplaying my hand, but I got him on a draw. Uh, yeah, I overplayed my hand real bad there. That was terrible. I'm going to take the unusual step of throwing this to myself. I overplayed my hand so bad there. I still have a few chips to play, but that was that was ugly. Well, at least this means I'll probably have time for a kettlebell walk. And I can focus on getting my uh, laundry done. Well, not yet. This I mean, I'm, I'm going to make the next break. It's only 3 minutes away.
even if he had a draw, that was a risky spot to risk to, to go for it. I probably should have just folded. I'm not sure what my huge mistake was. I assume it was the re-raise all in. But, like, maybe betting was a mistake? Maybe three betting people was a mistake? Did I do anything in that hand right? I, I, I don't know. That was a bad raise. I know that my raise was really bad. Because even if, even if he had just a flush draw, he was pot committed there, and I had to fade a lot of outs there. So, yeah, I, I just... I just play that hand really badly. But I'm not giving up yet. But, man, I played that bad. I should have known better. Pure Michigan has not been splashing around a whole lot. I think I can fold this. Ragnar was having a great run so far, obviously. So it was Blood Raven. Well, there it is officially. So I'm going to get my clothes into the dryer now and <laughs> figure out how to play poker correctly next time. A little early to come back, but here I am. Three hundred sixteenth out of three hundred I never, ever, ever plan on rebuying. That really was the kind of play that you should only make if you plan on rebuying. <laughs> Actually, it's not a play anybody should make. It. That was just a bad play. Like it always sucks when the then when the only thing I can possibly blame is myself. I have nobody to blame for myself for that play. That was just a terrible poker play. Those are the ones that are hardest for me to take. However, this is only two dollars and fifty cents. As long as you, as long as you never play at stakes that are higher than what you're willing and can afford to lose, then you'll never feel too bad for a mistake at poker. I, I never mind a bad beat. I, I at least have the satisfaction of getting it in good. And, you know, oh well, I lost. That's part of the game. But having the satisfaction of getting it in good is... 
you know, at least enough for me to walk out with my head held high. When it really is all my fault that I went broke, you know, that, you know, that, that's a pretty low feel, low feeling, but, uh, Computer to sleep. Maybe that's a good thing that I screwed that up. Maybe I saved my computer's life for all I know. I don't even have bluffing chips anymore. <laughs> so I can't even think about messing around pre flop. I can, however, try and get it in with 10 9 suited against Heisuke's aces and hope that he slow rolls me and gets punished for it. And prime is no easy mark, I tell you. I hope he folds. I was gonna say I hope he folds because at least that would that would validate the the play that I made earlier by making a big raise pre flop against Shantaram. Well, that validates it a little bit. Twenty one big blinds. I'm not so desperate that I pretty much have to pick up a hand as soon as I'm in the big blind again. That's okay. However, I'm under the gun. And if I get three, but I'm pretty much playing for my stack. So I need better than okay. If I only had 10 or 11 big blinds, I, am, I probably am going all in there and just hoping for the best. But I have 21, so I can wait a little while longer. Wasn't waiting for 9-3 off suit, that's for sure.
Fuck, see, he's raised by. And a second bullet doing a much better job. Hold. Ditto. A Pokemon playing this game. Not just any Pokemon either. is, am I justified to just open shove? Because I'm only at, I'm at less than a third of the chip average. I feel like I can play one more hand post swap, you know, unless I just, unless I just keep getting, being dealt crap after crap after crap and I keep folding. <laughs> but this is a hand I could play post swap. If somebody wants to rate min raise, I'll, I'll play post swap and see what happens. Perfect. Okay. If I catch anything, I'm, I'm just jamming. Well, anything good. That's not quite enough. Okay, now I'm all interfold. I already overplayed one pair. I'm not going to do that again. At least not in this tournament. I might make that same mistake later down the road. <laughs> in a different tournament, but not in this one. XRDO, Ace Jack. Oh, he had a Jack. And there's another Jack over there. So sure enough, I did the right thing. Lol. My 10 5 of hearts suddenly became a 6 card straight. Of course, if you're moving all in with 10 5 of hearts, <laughs> you, deserve to, you deserve to be broke. Okay. That's shovable, I guess.
If it gets through, I think I can play another hand post-flop on the next one. Because this is a pretty big shove. I'm up to 19 big blinds again, so. Next time I'm big blind, I have enough that I that I might be just able to just call a raise. Unless I really have a big hand. I think Shantaram really has all the moves in the book. He even modifies the raise according to his stack and what's going on around the table and everything. It's fearless. But he's not stupid either. Well, he knows he's getting called. Aces again, man. He didn't super slow roll him this time. Oh! <laughs> Nisuke and the Aces. All right, I can call a raise with this. I don't feel comfortable jamming just yet with Ace-10. Oh, this would be interesting. Let's just go for it. Alright, we're slowly get, picking ourselves back up here. I really didn't want to see any more cards. Ace 9 again. Tell you what, if I make it to the next break, I think that's quite an achievement. Oh, I don't want to play it for three big blinds. Can't really afford to. I still have a good three bet all in stack, though. Sort of tempting, but I'll, I'll get rid of it. FYI, if Yevanoma did re-raise me all in, I was, I was prepared to begrudgingly call. I didn't want to, but 
I was prepared to. Let me just confirm that the next game that, that I'm not covering any more games until the the main event. Yep, the only other high five final table I plan on covering is the main event. Hopefully, they don't do a deal there. They've not done a deal in any of the games that I've covered. I only singled out four games that I wanted to cover, and they've been nice and not done a deal each time. Asa K versus Shantaram again with good hands again. Oh, don't do it. I'm going to feel a little bad for Haste K if it happens this time. Okay, there we go. This time, Haste K was a good boy. And they're both out of here. They just both slammed huge hands into each other. AKGO Russia, welcome. All right, let's go for a small race here and try and set mine. That's not what I wanted. All right, I guess I'm back to all in or fold. I don't know if that was a bad play on my part or just bad luck that Yevon Oma has a better hand, but Daniel Sun from United States, welcome. Oh yeah, AKGO Russia, welcome. Ace Queen. Okay, I'm going with that. No question about it. Oh boy! <laughs> Pretty good flop, I'd say. Still don't have quite enough that it could splash around that easily with 7-4 diamonds. I'm tempted to, but I need to wait a little while longer, have a little bit more chip C. That wasn't worth it at all. Save myself another 1800.
They don't give up. Don't you dare give up just because you screwed one hand up. And I was against Pure Michigan Poker, too. I don't take these things as personal grudges, of course. No one should. But, you know, I, I screwed up against Pure Michigan Poker, so... I guess it's slightly extra nice to pick up the double up against the same guy. But I was just happy to double up regardless. So I still have a chance. Nothing here. In replay poker, I, don't, I would always proclaim myself to be a short stack savant. Of course, replay poker, I now realize that eight minute blinds, <laughs> everyone's going to be a short stack savant if they're going to run deep in those tournaments. Six minute blinds, even more so. Now that I know what real poker is like and how genuine deep stacked fields go through things. Yeah. I wasn't, wasn't necessarily a short stack savant as much as I was just good at playing eight minute blind tournaments or six minute blind tournaments. Ace 10's alright. I'll just call if he's in. Is every decision pre-flop that hard for you? Well, last time I hit eight, eight to the flop was almost identical. I just went for the all-in that time because I was really short. Comeback trail. Let's go. Let's go. We're right back in it. 43,000. 35.7 big blinds. Would have bought top pair there too. I'm well out of desperation mode now. Even though I'm still a short stack at the table, nobody's nobody's really holding a dominating stack either. Twos. If I snap limp, I wonder what that does. We've seen some limping here. Never mind. <laughs> UTG raise. Ooh, John Robert is on high stakes poker tonight, huh? Love John Robert. Oh, yeah, I saved myself 2400. Like, the thing about twos is you're either up against two overcards or a bigger pair. Like, it's one of the worst hands you could possibly have. It is a pair. But are you really that confident that the five cards on the board are going to airball your opponent? And even then, if he happens to have a bigger pair, then, well, now you need a lot of help. You 
in the late aughts and early 2010s, a lot of players would just raise ridiculously big pre-flop with twos because like, eh, I'm okay with flipping here for a big pot. When you'd be damn lucky to be flipping. If you're really playing that big of a pot, you're probably not flipping with twos. If you're lucky, they'll have ace king or ace queen, but that's it. If if you're playing a big pot, otherwise they're only calling you with jacks, queens, kings, or aces. I'll have thirty big blinds the next level. I'm not I'm not short stacked at all. Please play so that this isn't such a huge blow to my to my dignity. I can't I'm not playing seven two. Seriously, XRDO. You can speed things up a little bit pre flop. I don't know what is so hard about making up your mind pre flop. It's a good defend hand. Interesting flop. I think I would have heard from a diamond draw. Let's see if I can win this hand. Nice. Won it with one that had with nine high. As Will Kasuf says, nine high like a boss. I'm not much of a Will Kasuf fan, but my mother is. <laughs> my mother's actually. I'm pretty friendly with him on on uh, Twitter. I'd be a fan of Wilkasuf Light, like Wilkasuf Light. I would really enjoy, but his chatter and slow play is just too much, though. I don't think he's a bad person. Well, he kind of is. He's a lawyer. <laughs> but <laughs> like I don't think it's necessarily mean spirited but you know when people tell him to stop he should stop but he when he does it <laughs> at least based on what I've seen of him maybe I don't know
nice day out there. Sure it would be a shame if I kept playing this tournament and didn't do a kettlebell walk. I think I'm starting to see my tree begin to bud slightly. I think those are buds. Yeah. April 11th. And we had like the easiest winter you can imagine. Like December 20th. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> December um, 23rd, 24th, 25th were extremely cold with a lot of snow, but other than those three days, it really wasn't, was nothing that challenging. Ragnar95 is not screwing up his big stack, clearly. Because he, he's been chip leader from the word go. I don't think I've seen anybody else on there. I don't have much reason to be looking at the leaderboard all that closely with where my stack is. But, you know, I'm a nerd. <laughs> I just kind of like watching the different names go up and down the board. Pretty big for a three bit shove. I mean, I guess there's 5,200 5, out there. I guess. I've seen I've seen more egregious shoves than that. That's for sure. KYKYJ Resh, Russia, welcome. I think I'll make my raise size 3250 for this level. Of course, there's all these late reg guys coming in like like a swarm of locusts. Once I get over the 50k mark, because that's a starting stack, my position's gonna skyrocket. <laughs> Three big blinds for me. Two table. Fly Rye, United States, welcome. Wait, I don't have to say welcome, this is a new table. Welcome me. <laughs> Luegen Lord 2, Germany. Chinas 20, Portugal. Stivis, Russia. Tristan K, Germany. And Zabiu, Brazil. Good mix of countries.
Ricardo, 1993. Another Portuguese player. Welcome. Run into a lot of Portuguese players. Normally it's just Brazil, but <laughs> this time the, the original Portugal is showing up for this one. And again, look, I'm not especially short at this table. There's a few bigger stacks, let's be expected, but I'm not especially short. I can still damage everybody at this table. Fellow Grinch and my fellow American, Lyrai. And just FYI, there, there's no Who characters. It's just Grinch. On America's Card Room. The Whos don't really strike me as being poker players anyway. I can see Grinch doing a decent job at poker. Lon McCare Memorial Hand. I think I'm short enough that if I get three bet, I just kind of have to roll with it. Not the greatest slot for Jax, but it's only one overcard. Oh, I'm over 50k. Right, so it didn't bump up there, but it needs an extra hand. To like refresh my position. So now that I'm over 50k, watch my position skyrocket, even though that wasn't that big of a pot. Or maybe that really is all, all the bump that I got. I don't know. Come on, man. Again, we got to just consider the fact that maybe he didn't know that, that the sit-out button doesn't work. Don't really plan on playing this hand anyway. It's a weak ace. I have more than half the average now, so I, I could be a little more choosy. Could I play this hand? Absolutely. Just don't want to. Yeah, there we go. Now I'm 269th.
Right, so now I'm back below 50. It's not just the late red, it's also the rebuyers. Ditto is slipping off the board a little bit. Oh, we got a new chip leader. Trev Fish taking over for Ragnar. Okay, done. Still have nearly 30 big blinds at the next level. Thank you. Finally a turn card that doesn't just random that doesn't give me extra outs for no reason. <laughs> I can still be done with the hand. Not gonna lie, part of me is just thinking, don't do anything stupid, make it to the next break. Because <laughs> you said that'd be a bit of an accomplishment for you, and I still hold to that. I, th I think from, from where I was, and the fact that I just blew most of my chips, actually surviving an extra hour is kind of impressive. Nines one that tempting. I'm going to go back to Chris Ferguson style here. I just realized my stack ends with a zero now. I'm happy about that. He's 160, yeah. So in the next two hands, I'll have 46,000 exactly if I don't play them. Yeah, it looks like I saved myself 1,400, if not more. 
because Chinas or Chinas. I assume it's Chinas because it's from Portugal. Deck 10. Okay, Zabu is playing, so I can fold. It's still 7 4, 7 14, really? Chinas 20. Or whatever 20 is in Portuguese. <laughs> I know I know I know a, a decent amount of Spanish, but if it's anything different in Portuguese, I, I don't know where it is. I know they're similar enough, but not completely mutually intelligible. Now Spanish and Italian. I mean I've I've heard Dingo Pictures movies in Italian, and I've actually been able to make out you know, a decent amount of the words and, and, and their correct meanings because it sounds just like Spanish. Reese. Here it is. We're going to tell nothing. That's okay, though. I'm not desperate anymore. Whoa. <laughs> Whoa. You again, Lord. <laughs> you better have a big one. <laughs> Another race? <laughs> Queens. Sixes? Oh, he's got, he's got the only heart, too. Nothing ugly there. Ricardo, a big stack now. Very big stack. He's on the leaderboard now. Well, what's it refreshes? Rips, 1996, Portugal. Welcome. Three Portuguese at this table now. No set, no bet. You can have this one. Nope. And Ragnar is back. I'm okay if they put his hand slow because I don't make it official that I've actually survived the whole hour. I did it! Yes! It's 55!
uh, rips. Well, I need to pee, so you're, you're going to have to uh, interpret what happens in this hand on your own. <laughs> Sorry, guys. I forgot for a minute there. Actually, for a while there. Um, there was a really early hand with uh, like five minutes in with Shantaram where I could have played nine eight of diamonds and busted in five minutes. But here we are three hours into it. That's despite me blowing up. Snack doesn't hurt. I'm eating a snack now instead of doing a kettlebell walk, which by all means I probably should have done a little under an hour ago, but nope, I'm still standing. Actually, in poker, I'm still sitting. If you're standing, it means you're probably getting out of a casino. <laughs> This is a game where they expect nearly 2,000 runners. We have uh, a total of 702 who have registered so far. Of course, there's 163 minutes of late reg left. It'd be really nice if there was only seven levels of late reg so everybody can just get here and play. Rather than try and weasel their way in and go all in on the first hand and just hope it works. Might not be the best idea here, but let's see if I can get, make it work. That's not working. It's a fold. I could have just folded that. But I decided to raise, and now I'm not going to raise this. I could have. Well, now I have a nice three bet all in stack, but I want to actually have something. I think I've demonstrated that on an ACR tournament that's not a turbo, 
all I have to do to survive two hours is just not get totally coolered and just don't be an idiot. Because I could have, I could have been totally coolered. have a hand that can defend all that well and uh oh yeah i'm kind of short here now i am ex especially short now i am very vulnerable
Bottom of the range again. I really hope they all fold. I just want to pick this pot up. If I get called, unless it's aces, I still have a 30% chance or around that area. But I'm desperately hoping for some folds here. I've been very quiet. Goodbye, everybody. Oh, I actually have a decent chant. Never mind. I'm out of here. Goodbye. Well, I try to recover. All right, win some, you lose some. Well, you lose most. <laughs> I did what I could to recover from that mistake, but I only succeeded in making another one. Happens. See you on the next one, which is two days from now, and uh, also $2.50 buy-in. So maybe I'll do a little bit better this time? I don't know. I was not expecting to go back-to-back -back caches. I was not. It took me so long to do it once, so... All right. See ya.